What up? Welcome to another episode of Megan Songbringer. Episode 667. Getting close to finishing Songbringer here. And uh, while I'm working mostly on the iOS version right now, actually I'm going to take a little break here. Um, I've been spending about an hour a day uh, putting into just investing into um, new ideas, new art forms for the next game. And one thing I'm considering is doing like a 3D voxel art style for um, for the next game. And uh, so I'm going to de dedicate this stream to playing around with animating a voxel art style to see if, I don't know, I'm trying to get a feel for, first of all, how much work it will be to create these voxel 3D characters. Second of all, if the art style is really something that I prefer or not, you know what I mean? Um, I'd like to get this all the way to the con to the sort of a proof of concept phase where I can animate a character, put them in sort of a game world, and see if the animations actually look good, especially when they rotate. So I can I can confidently go I know that I could animate Rock right here in 3D and make him run. However, how good will that look if it's rotated at a 45 degree angle and still voxel art? You know what I mean? Because I want it, I want this voxel art to sort of have a, have a 2D pixel art feel, but with all the awesomeness of 3D shadows and uh, all that kind of cool stuff. So, um, will it look good, right? If you have a, because voxel art, I don't know, pixel art itself looks really good when it's crisp and clean, and all the pixels are sort of the same size and uh, same alignment and all that. So. If you rotate voxel art 45 degrees, you're having sort of like a, a diamond shape for each one of the voxels or pixels on the screen. And will that look good? I don't know. So I really need to get this uh, up to that sort of phase before I really make this choice on whether I should go with this 3D style or whether I should just keep on with my rad 2D pixel art and keep growing my skills with that, get better at animating and get better at my, all my pixel art. Because I love pixel art. and so I've got, and I know it will be, uh, I feel like it will be easier too. Like that's another huge thing is how much work is it to create these 3D characters? Um, so with all that said, this is how I, I did this yesterday. I started with, um, I started with a palette actually. And the way palettes work in Magic of Voxel you can go ahead and you know create your own palette here by just clicking on one of these swatches. These are swatches, not necessarily colors. You really have to think of them that way because you can swap palettes in and out and change your entire model just by swapping your palette. Um, but anyways, you can go ahead and like you know enter all your colors manually, and that's what I started doing at first. But then I realized there's this awesome palette thing, and you can export palettes. So it was much easier to export the palette, edit it in Photoshop, and then bring it back in. Because think, look at look how much of a pain this is. If you want to go and say, oh, look at this brown color I have. Oh, that's 43, 30, 16. And then go back in here and 43, 30, 16. Remember those numbers, type them in, which is annoying. That's just slow as hell. So it was so much faster to create this palette and load it in. Um, but then I went ahead and opened up one of Rock's animations. Uh, I think I was using Idle Sword South, which is here, without his shirt on. And oh, that's another thing, too, about this 3D art is um, I want to be able to do lots of layers in, this, in the next game. Like, I want to be able to have armors and gloves and different hats and pants and everything, everything customizable, different weapon, all that stuff. Um, so with pixel art, I could easily do that with layers and just layer together a bunch of different sprites and have way better of an armor system for the next game. However, um, in 3D, that's going to mean creating layers of models and stuff. And I'm not sure how that will all work or how, how basically, I'm not sure how easy it will be to, to, to do that. So... Once again, got to get this up to a prototype phase before I make the choice. So anyways, 
um, having yeah having this pixel pixel art picture up here um, I basically just drew all these things with the voxel tool I did it in 2d at first so I kind of I just did it like a 52 by 1 by 52 type world and then drew him and then I went ahead and made the world bigger like this and just extruded all the pixels like I could attach a pixel here you know what I mean so I drew all that and I ended up with this so this is the 3d version of rock I'm still totally getting used to uh, magic of voxel here um, so anyways today's goal is to animate this I know there's an animation feature you can set different frames and stuff here in magic of voxel somehow so I'm gonna learn how to do that, and and the goal is to animate rock a little bit. Um, something is going on. I'm using a little bit too much CPU, so I'm gonna close some stuff down. Uh, oh yeah, um, one more piece of news. I've been working on the soundtrack a lot lately. And I've got it all finished and divided up into different tracks. So this is almost finished. I got some notes. I got I got a few things left to do. Um, I still have to prep it all for, for Steam. It's also going to be on Bandcamp. Uh, but anyways, the soundtrack is pretty much finished. And it'll be coming out relatively soon. So that's pretty neat. I'm going to go ahead and close this, though. We don't need that open while we're doing this. What else might be using some CPU here? It's probably fine. Okay. So let's get this animated. Um, first of all, let's save this as the same name as uh, the pixel art. Just get that on track there. So let's get this open here. Turn off his shirt on all these layers. And you can see that he's basically just he's basically just shrugging his shoulders here. This is animating really fast. But that's only because uh, it slows it down in the game. But anyways, if I could just get one frame where he's like this and one frame where his shoulders are up and animate that in Magic of Voxel, I think that will be a really nice basic way to start because I don't have any clue how to do any of this. So I'm learning as we go. So let's uh let's learn together, yeah. All right. So how the hell do I create another frame? How do I even show the whole animator thing? What's this? Whoa. Here's some layers. Oh. oh. You can group objects. I'm sure this is it. I've seen somebody have like a timeline right here. All right, we're gonna have to consult uh, the internet. What's this? Oh, yeah, this is really helpful. Oh, by the way, I'm using Magic of Voxel 099.1 Alpha on Mac.
Oh, okay, that's definitely something to note. You can only do 24 frames. Uh, that you can't import or export yet? Oh, this was a couple years ago, okay. So far I've seen a lot of great artwork done for these like different scenes, right? It's really easy to make a good scene like this, but to animate a character, I'm not so sure how good it is. But anyways, let's, I guess we're gonna have to pull up one of these. I've seen this, I've seen this tutorial before, so it's just somewhat recent. <laughs>「get that where's that button at is that a windows only thing You have to go to an older version? Looks like we might have to do an older version. Okay. 0982. Mac 0892. Here we go. This would explain why I had this version on my hard drive a while ago. I had two versions. I must have done this research already and forgot all about it. Which is nothing new. Okay, so there's this weird problem with Magic of Voxel. You have to drag the app out of your folder when you're installing it and then drag it back in. Somehow that magically prevents it from having a black screen. Don't ask me why. Okay, so let's hope that Copy my palette in there. Copy this. God, I hate the fucking scroll on Mac. Ah, oh, God. Okay, let's hope that works. Oh yeah, there we go. Now we've got the frame animation. All right, all right. Oh, feels like it's a little blurrier. 
All right, let's open up. Um, there we go, Rock Idol Sword. Good. I'm glad it opened up still. Oh no, what happened to my? Oh, it doesn't have this cube to friggin' change the camera. Camera controls are different. I don't know. I'm lost already. What's this? Camera slots? Save load? Okay, there's the WASD. You can use WASD for camera control. Every time I stream, this happens. It's a freaking game show. Such horrible software. Just sometimes when I stream, it uses over 100% of one CPU. Uh, whatever. Still going to continue to stream. All right. Let's... Um, okay, I guess I can deal with this camera being different. Um, okay, how do I, what do I do? One more frame? Yeah? Now we're on frame, okay, there's frame one, there's frame zero. Um, let's get, oh, dude, it was so much easier with the other camera. Don't show the ground. That's better. Show shadow? Oh yeah, show shadow, those are cool. Okay, definitely show that. Alright, frame, where are we on frame one? Okay. I want to move his shoulders up. And the sword. Ooh, man, that is freaking really tough to deal with. You're supposed to be able to right click to change the camera, but I haven't been able to figure that out. It's not working for me. I do have a, the Mac version. I have a weird, I have a trackpad I'm having to use, but I can still right click. I don't know what that's up. Oh, what's this about? Oh, oh I already did this stuff. Shout out shadows. This is like, what is this? What? I don't know what that was. Oh, that's edge. Huh. Okay. What's this? Oh, I probably should not be just clicking on random stuff. All right. Is this milliseconds? It is. Time step is 120. Let's do 100. I'll give us a nice animation step that I'm used to. Okay, so I want to select a box, I guess. More boxy. I want all this box. Can I shift select? Oh good, you can shift select, that's cool. Man, that is annoying. This camera. I just want to select that ah, bottom pixel. Okay. Let's see if I can even trans. Is this translate? No. Oh, here, move. Can I move that upper pixel with the. Alright, come on, come on. 
Is there some way to translate all of these voxels up one? Oh, here we go. How about this tool? No. No. Mm -hmm. Rotate, run up, but not loop, not scale, not repeat. I just want to translate. You might not be able to do it. You gotta be able to do it. There's gotta be a way. I've seen people do this on videos. This looks like the tool right here. Move! Oh, God, I had it the whole time. Aha! Okay. All right, so we got this. I'm gonna select these pixels. Oops. Select. Oh, okay, that's attached, that's select. I guess. Ooh, it's almost time to take a break here. Oh, what's this thing? Oh, this is box erect. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna sh if I s single okay, I have to shift, left click. Man, it's so much easier to use the, uh, the camera in the newer version. I should stop saying that over and over. Okay. Pretty confident in that. Selected the right pixels. I wonder if there's an easy way to group those and stuff. Wait, well, we don't have the group controls in this version. They were like up here or something. Anyways, let's move this. We got the move tool. I'm gonna move it up. Just one. Yeah. That was not too hard. I'm impressed. Okay, we're gonna have to fill in some pixels here at the bottom, which is totally expecting. Expectingable. Expect. I expected that. Okay. So let's use the voxel tool. We'll attach. Pick up this color here. Oh, it's select none. This is hard. Attach. Boom. Okay, wait, oh. I can just get right there. Select that color, attach. the wrong color. Select this color. No, paint. Paint that pixel there. There's better. Okay. Get his backpack. Oh, 
Oh, he's technically his backpack should be shorter. But no, if he shrugs up his shoulders, he's gonna pull up his backpack, so it's will be shorter at the bottom here. Let's erase those two. Maybe this one should be painted. Ugh. Okay, going through some growing pains here. You know, one thing is with like um, Photoshop, for example, I'm just so comfortable. I've got all my keyboard shortcuts the way I like them. So when it's when I'm here in Magic of Voxel, I have no keyboard shortcuts, no familiarity. Everything is new and and different and unwieldy at first here. It just kind of feels wrong having these two pixels like that. All right. Okay. Okay. Let's save. And can we duplicate this frame? Move it. Oh, that's the move. No, that doesn't work. Damn you. I want to duplicate this frame and put it over there, yo. Don't tell me I should have done it the other way around. Oh my god, for real? This just goes to the next frame? These just delete or add and you can't just move a frame? There's no way I could du duplicate this and put it over in the, the last frame? Oh my god, I hate this program sometimes. There's gotta be a way. Okay, so I don't want that one. Copy paste. If I duplicate that layer, oh, that pasted up. Okay, so select all, delete, and now paste. That worked. Okay. All right. Yes, we worked around it. Okay, so in the game, this would probably have actually more like a step, like thousand. Oh, what? You can't do... You can't do more. <laughs> oh, this program sometimes. 999. Should be about... Let's see what that looks like. Play. How do you play? I can't just view this animation? What? I'd have to go like this. <laughs> Say it ain't so.
watch this and fast forward, see if I can figure this out. I don't think you can. Okay, right, you can rotate stuff. It's good to know. Oh, there's a magic our voxel viewer. I wonder if the viewer can Let's get the viewer. Probably can't though. I wish he shared the source code for this. I've been like already wanting to change all my keyboard commands, but I can't. Got another black screen. It's okay, I know how to deal with this. Drag it in, drag it out, man. Who knows why that works? This is the official solution listed on their website. Okay, this is pretty neat. I like, I like this. See, see what I'm saying? It's like, it seems like it's the piece of software that's like really great for making scenes like this. And then you can render them really cool. But as far as like making characters goes, it seems to be lagging. Okay, I don't want to do this anyways. I want to open up my Vox. How do I, how do I open? Really? Oh, here's an open command over here. All right, once again, it's just rendering. I don't want to just render. I want, oh, I guess this is just for one scene. How do you, it's, it's cool, it's got this ruler, but you can't, oh wait. The, no, you can't change the angle with these though. Yeah, from what I can tell, this does not do animation either. Let's watch the rest of this video, see if we can find some way to just play the animation. I have a feeling he's probably going to export it to Blender or something like that. 
even though I've watched this video before. I'm kind of trying to watch the whole thing so I don't miss anything in case there's something important about how the animation can just be played. I will say, working with Magic of Voxel is kind of fun as far as how the voxels attach and stuff, at least in the newer version with the good camera. You know, I could see I could see myself actually making a game with this, but animating characters, I don't know. Maybe not. doing some important stuff here. Okay, is this just a static image or are we talking this is actually animated? Oh, this is the newer version, so it's probably not animated. I mean, see what I'm saying? It's cool for a static image, but like an, an animated scene, it's like it doesn't have the, the tools and maybe it does, maybe it does. I'm trying to give this the benefit of the doubt because it does create really beautiful looking static scenes. I gotta give it that. Yeah, I don't think this is animated at all. It's just a scene. All right. Okay, so we started doing something important here. Oh, he's just saving it? Uh oh. Oh, he's saving out pings for each frame. That's what I'm. Uh. I could have done that in Photoshop. Lame. Oh, he's just gonna animate it in After Effects. Okay, not a 3D animation. This is a 2D animation. All right. <sighs> See, yeah, you can import it into like Unity. You can import it into Blender. I've seen people do that. But that's it's so weird when you do stuff like that, like with Blender, because then you have to freaking add bones and stuff to make it kinematic and then once you've got that your voxels all of a sudden start bending and it looks horrible it's not voxel anymore it's like this 
weird Gumby voxel. Yeah, look, see, he's just pressing the button to go back and forth. Like, you have to... It's like... It's like trying to watch... It's like trying to watch an a movie by hand-winding the the reel yourself by hand. Or, or play back a sound by, like, hand-winding a phonograph. Okay, anyways. The animation here is done. And if I go like this, with sort of a musician's cadence here, nice little rhythm, it does kind of look cool, I guess. Okay, so I'm going to take a quick break, do a little mobilization, keep my body moving, and then we're going to come back and see if we can animate rock running or swinging his sword, or doing something more advanced than just shrugging his shoulders. See how difficult that is in this Magic of Voxel prob program. I almost called it a problem. It's a problem program. Five seconds until recover. Recover. Five seconds until mobilize. Mobilize. seconds until recover. Recover. Five seconds until mobilize. Mobilize. seconds until recover. Recover. Five seconds until mobilize. Mobilize. seconds until recover. Recover. Five seconds. Workout complete.
Okay, I'm back. I had an idea. I wonder if I can copy and paste from one Magic of Voxel software to another. So I'd much prefer to work in the newer one. And it's like the older one's animation is really incomplete. Let's check that out. Can we do this? Can we copy? Can we have two of them running at once? Okay, we can. We can have two of them running. See, I just want to select his hat. That's tough. What's this, what's this, what's this wrecked view do? Oh. Oh! That's better. Oh, except I selected his head, too. Let's unselect. How would I, can I option select? Control select? No. Just shift select again? No. I don't see a way to unselect here. Lame. Okay, so if I just try and select this hat from the front. All right, anyways, let's go edit, copy. Damn it. Select, copy, okay. Let's go to the other Magic of Voxel and Oh no, it had its own had its own thing. Let's go to this box move thing. What? What was that? Okay, so Oh yeah, okay, so that's what I had previously copied to do that workaround, get frame two or whatever. Okay, so this other one, copy, but first let's move this out of the way or something, do some weird, I'll probably go paste, okay, paste, when it pastes, it pastes with the location that it knows. So if I go, yeah, it's its own freaking clipboard. Okay, but you can probably... Okay, if I were to go and animate... If I were to go and do each frame as a separate file, I could open it up because I was able to open it up originally. Okay, so that's what I'll do. I'm going to do each frame of this animation. Let's, which animation are we going to do here? Photoshop. Okay, so I'm, I could either do rock idol sword south, or I could do him swinging the sword or running. Both of those are pretty fundamental, important things. Don't tell me. You, okay, I'm having this weird issue sometimes where I command Q to quit an application and it quits like two or three applications. But like it only happens with the simulator. Let's 
Knock running. South sword. South. Let's get that one open. So complicated that would be. Um, let's open up. Rock sword. Zero south. What we'll type is one? Oh yeah, they're all different swords wings, okay. So there's this one. Why is it animating so slow? Oh, it's probably just slowed down because of so much going on on my computer right now. Okay, but what? Oh. tough to make in 3D. Let's go with it. Whatever would be a little easier. Okay, this seems like it might be a little easier. He's not moving as much. You're really just moving the legs. Mostly. Okay, so this sword swing. This would suck to create because you, you gotta like really change all these objects. I guess maybe you can use the rotate tool. But let's save this whole advanced animation for later. Let's do this running animation first. All right. So we'll start with frame one there. Where he's got, let's turn off the shirt. Make it a little easier. How does that compare to idle? Okay, it's totally different. Which magic box will be one? Okay, so I'm just gonna close down this old one. Cause if I just did, oh God, I'm thinking about it like, doing this all in 3D, is it really worth it? I mean like, Cool, you're gonna have greater, better shadows. Maybe it actually would look a little better. But still, this is frame-based animation. It's not like you're blending the voxels from one frame to another. I guess in, I could in software do something that sort of translates voxels, even rotates voxels. I could do that all programmatically. Right, so if I did one frame and I did another frame and then I had something in software that blended them together sort of, that might be cool. Okay, so let's call this um, rock running sword south zero. And then the next ring will be one and so on. Oh, wow, my computer really calmed down when closing that old one. Maybe it was more inefficient. And in fact, it had blurrier art too. I could see that they actually upgraded this, so it's not like, uh, yeah, this is, seems this software seems better. Okay, um, step one is going to be getting his leg in the right position. So he's he's got his front leg forward, his back leg is backwards and rotated up. 
So let's select the right pixels. I'm not going to worry too much about color at this point, right? I can go ahead and like, I'll have to learn to, if I do end up doing, you know, working with 3D, these voxels for making a game in the future, I'll have to get better at my art because you're seeing that I'm using a lot of 2D pixel art techniques that really don't translate well to 3D. Like, for example, when you're looking at him head on, it looks really good to have his sides of his torso dark. You know, somehow it just like makes sense. But when you rotate it, it doesn't really look as good. Now you're like, wait a minute, why is this side of his torso so dark? You know what I mean? It's because I was trying to emulate the 3D nature of physical objects in 2D. But when you're 3D, you don't really need that. You rely on lighting to do that. So anyways, my techniques would really have to change. So that said, let's go ahead and select these. We're going to use the Rec tool to move his knee. Is that, did I move that in the right way? No? I want to move it this way. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm filled with confidence. I wish I could use the friggin' arrow keys though. Filled with confidence just knowing I can <laughs> translate pixels, that's pretty cool. Now see this I would want to rotate maybe? Shit. Oh, this is only 90 degrees? I thought there was a rotate by number of degrees. I swear I saw someone do this in a video somewhere. Maybe it's the old version. Okay, I guess you're gonna have to voxel this out. No biggie. Um, As you can tell, I'm still super clunky with this software. This is only the second day I've used it, so it's like, really don't quite know what I'm doing yet. Anywhere near right? No, not at all. <laughs> so weird. So uncomfortable and unfamiliar. Pixels, I'm calling them pixels. So I'm I'm gonna try not to worry too much about color. In this little first animation draft.
Oops, it looks all right. All right, let's move on to his back leg. Translate that back a little bit. And let's see if we can do the rotate. We're we gonna rotate on X? I guess so. See, that was lucky. Yeah, X is what we wanted. Right, because Y would do, and then Y is definitely not what we wanted. And then Z would be something else. X, there we go. So yeah, his leg's going up like that. It's kind of how we want it here. Let's translate that up a bit. Maybe back a bit. Down one more. Go in one. Voxel this other bit out. Don't ask me why this is the color pickle picker tool. I don't know how that represents pick, but it does. Okay, this is looking good so far. It's not going to be the same as our pixel art. It's got a much more relaxed back arm. Should we relax the back arm or just not relax the back arm? Yeah, let's relax it a little bit. Once again, keyboard shortcuts, knowing them would be really cool and making them custom for my own like sort of workflow would be neat. But at this point, I'm just trying to learn it the way it is. Sword still, it's, sword looks pretty 2D. His body even kind of looks 2D. Well, anyways. Critiques aside, let's see if we can get this fully animated, or at least all the frames. All right, so we've got frame zero. That's about how frame zero could be. Let's save this as frame one. All right, so frame one is, oh, is it dude, that much of a ch Okay, so his leg still, he jumps up in the air. 
about two pixels. And, okay, let's just start with them jumping up in the air. Um, does shoulders move? Nope, does, do they? No, okay. Shoulders and everything stay the same, that's cool. Okay, his back knee is coming forward a little bit. His front knee is going back a little bit. His front leg, foot is coming off the ground. Move his back knee first. That seems pretty easy. Like, does it come out? Yeah, it can. It should probably come all the way to. Like, what the heck is that? Let's get rid of that. Select. Oh, I just realized he's got this crazy loping sort of run started here with his legs all out super wide. Kind of need to fix that. Let's go back to the first frame here. Not bad. Okay. Well, I gotta admit, it sure does feel good to be getting the hang of this, sort of. Getting to know this software's limitations is really important. It's fun.
viability, you could say. Learning to know how much it's viable. Well, we might be able to actually rotate a few of these frames, like. This one and that one almost. Do, do, like the next frame, you really just have to save this as two. See if we can just flip his legs. We got this. Flip. We use the flip tool. Um. Let's guess. Y? Nope. X? Dude, X is the one each time. <laughs> Hooray for X. Okay, it looks like he's shrugging his shoulders here, too. Oh, no, he's just lifting up the arm. Okay, so the arm and the sword need to come up a little bit. Huh. Looks like it's all right. Maybe a few little issues here and there. Like, I guess we should paint these pixels a little bit different. Okay, I think that's going to be good for this frame. So what happens is the next frame, he lands, which is essentially kind of like frame, wait, is his, his arm is still high, but his body is mostly like this. We got this. So we're going to start with frame zero. Save as three. One, two, yeah, three. Okay, he's going to, he's landed on the ground. Yeah, so we don't have to move. Did he change his height? No. Okay, that's good. Yes, we Boom, he lands on the ground, his legs are flipped though.
um, his sword and and stuff still up. Wish you could deselect a few voxels. There's gotta be some. I tried them all. Did I try them all? Let's keep the select tool on. Let's shift select. Now that would add. Just so, just using the mouse button would do a new selection. Control selecting. Doesn't work. Option selecting. Oh, option select? Can you do one? No? Oh, option select? Does that pick up a color? Oh my god, it does. Option select. That's cool one to know. Okay, command select. No. Function select, maybe? No. There's no way to freaking deselect a few pixels that I can tell. That would be really, really handy in this exact situation where I don't want to move his hands up, but I don't want to. S Anyways. Let's just go ahead and do it anyway. Let's go. Why isn't this moving? Okay, I guess you can just do another operation to fix it. Oh, I already broke that. Broke the dang sword! Okay, I'm happy with that. Okay, we got frame three. All right, frame four, what's that gonna look like? Only two more frames, nice. Okay, again, he jumps in the air. This time it sort of moves outward a bit. And is I think his legs are a little messed up actually in this animation. Well, maybe not. See, he instantly goes from his leg being totally forward on his left leg being forward to his left leg being all the way back in the next frame. Oh no, that's only halfway back. Okay, we can figure this out. His left leg is going halfway back. It's almost like frame. It's almost like that one. Or this one. Yeah, it's like this one. His left leg is sort of halfway back, his front leg is sort of like this. And then.
Okay, I'll go ahead and trust my instincts and just use this one. Three, three already, it's four. He does move his whole body a bit. So these two frames, he's to the right a pixel. Oops, oh, I did the wrong one. This one. And this one. Pixel. Zero, one, two, three, four. Yeah, he's back down to this. In case he doesn't translate a pixel to the side on this frame. But this one is soars out, sort of. Oh, I gotta use the whole it's an option. Yeah, it's a nice one. Ooh, yeah, that's a great one to know. Oops. All right, looking good there. And in the last frame, his legs are still up in the air. Those legs are basically swapped. Let's just save this one as Is there anything else really to do to this frame? 
No, I mean you could see you could say his torso changes a little bit. In fact, I kind of mess, messed up on this pixel art here. Changed that torso color a bit too much there. Yeah, totally. But anyways, okay. So let's see this thing animated, not animated. That's um, better than nothing. I can't believe I just did that. All right, let's go ahead and close this one now. We're gonna open up the old school one. Let's go ahead and make this easy by copying all these. Why are they out of order? I can't read them. Shit. What about this? Can I just like drag one in? Nice. Call that frame zero. Let's see if we can just drag frame one in now. Oh. Yeah, that opened up that whole file. That's all right. We can do this whole select copy thing. Oh, select all, copy. Go back to, don't change this. Um, frame one, select all, delete, paste. Nice, it's working. Okay. Next frame, save. Oh, hey, Command V works. That's pretty cool. I just did Command C. Let's see if this works. This should be different than, oh yeah, it worked. Did I forget a frame? I think I forgot a frame.
Oh yeah, okay. Oh, hey, Command-A works, too. Cool, I'm learning a few of these shortcuts. There we go. We have animated rock. Let's, um, let's get a nice angle of this. And once again, I just have to do this sort of like tap it at the right cadence. Oh, that's super weird. Okay, I definitely messed up on a frame there in the middle. But, as a proof of concept, I've got some confidence now that I could actually do this. At least I know how. There's a lot of limitations though to this software and also the whole voxel whole voxel light. What do you how the heck do I even put this? Like there's limitations to just making a voxel game, I guess. Let's see that from another angle. Besides that mess up with the animation there in the middle, I just swapped his legs when I should have done something else, I guess. <laughs> this looks so funny. It kind of works though, you know what I mean? I could see this working. If we're, Let's zoom out. Like, let's see. What would this look like if this were actually in the game, you know what I mean? How zoomed out would we be? It probably looks something like that, right? If we were kind of at an isometric angle, it would be more zoomed out than this. Maybe more like oop, something like this, about like that. See, that looks a lot better because you're kind of concealing the fact that it's all big voxels. Well, they're not big voxels. They're not like Minecraft voxels, but. As far as pixels go, they're big pixels. And you can't really tell the swords is 2D either. Okay, now we're starting to see something really weird. You know what I mean? His body should move forward and back a bit. That's just animation. Yeah, forward and back would really help. God, I would love to see this like actually in a game engine. If there's uh, to get my own game engine up and running in 3D would be months of work. To do it in Unity would be annoying. Ugh. Might have to do that though if I were to really mock this up. But, oh, okay, well, 
There, there you go. There you have it. I'm done with this stream here. Learned a lot. Learned a lot today. Gosh, man. Just every every day experimenting with this whole 3D pixel art slash voxel art type stuff. Is, I'm learning things, you know. I'm, I'm trying to see if this is viable for my next game. Um, gosh. Part of me is just screaming, like, stick with pixel art. It's so much so much easier and I can do crazy things like when in pixel art you can easily create like a huge like swooping sword thing going on like this it's partially transparent and all that and trying to do that in this 3d voxel art program was going to be crazy difficult you know you got to go into each separate voxel and make it sort of semi-translucent right here that would be hella hard and just like the exaggeration of pixel art is so easy, but in voxel art, it's even the rotation of pixels is easy in, in 2D, but like rotating everything in 3D is so so much harder. But I guess one advantage is that in pixel art, you you create everything from one perspective. And then you have to create it again from another perspective, and you have to create it again from another. So this is his south, is him facing south, and you also have to do him facing east, and then you also have to, do, have to do another one where he's facing north. And those are about the minimum for pixel. You really should have a southwest, you know what I mean, like diagonals. You should have two diagonals, and that would really round it out and make it look the best you could. But that's still, that's having to draw the same animation for each character. One, two, three, four, five. Three to five times, you know what I mean? And that takes a lot of time for pixel art. Even, even with pixel art being pretty easy to manage. And another thing about pixel art is you have to really get detailed about your techniques, like drawing the dark side of his torso here for example makes it look good but in 3d you, you you could probably be a little bit easier and just not make it make it all the same color mostly you know because you're allowing the lighting to do most of that work so gosh there's pros and cons to both sides pros and cons to both of these one huge pro to making it in 3d is that you really only have to make one animation so like as I as I finish and make this animation good, that's it. I don't have to do a, I don't have to do a north one. I don't have to do a south one. I don't have to do an east one. The thing is though, the diagonals, the diagonals would be an issue if you're even allowing diagonals, which is something I would really like to see in a game. I would like to be able to actually see like, okay, if he's walking directly south. It's probably going to look good, but if he's walking at an angle southwest, how the hell would that look in the, in voxel? Okay. Anyways, thoughts aside, learnings aside, uh, I'm going to close down this video. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. And I uh, hope you learned something too on my little journey into learning magic of voxel. Yeah, that's it. See you next time.